today we will go in three last stop in Market Street. CJ pushed through the church doors, skipped down the steps. The outside air smelled like freedom, but it also sm smelled like like rain. But it also smelled like rain, which freckled CJ's shirt and dripped down his nose. He ducked under the nana. Umbrella saying, How came we gotta wait to bust in all this wet? Trees get thirsty too, said Nana. Told him, Don't you see, see that big one drink through the straw? CJ looked for a long time but never saw a straw. From this bus bus stop, he watched water pool on flower petals, watched it rain patter against the windshield or nearby car. His friend Colby climbed in, gave CJ a wave, and drove off with his dad. Nana, how can Come, how come we don't got a car? Boy, what do we need a car for? We got a bus to breeze fire. And old Mr. Denny's, who always has a trip for you. The bus creaked to a stop in front of them. It signed and sagged, and the door swung open. What? What's that I see? Mister Danny asked. He pulled the coin behind CJ's. Ear. Place to the palm. Nana laughed and Deep laughed and pushed CJ along. They sat right up front. The man across the way was turning a guitar. A old woman with curls. Butterflies in a jar. Nana gave everyone a big smile and a good afternoon. She made sure CJ did the same. The bus entered forward to and stopped it. Lurch forward and stopped. Nana hummed as she knit. After church, no, no. How come we always got gotta go here after church? CJ asked. Said Miguel and Colby never have to go na nowhere. I feel sorry of these boys. I feel sorry of those boys, she told him. They'll never get a chance to meet Bobo for a sunglass man. And I hear Trixie got herself a bent new hat. CJ started 
out a window, feel sorry of himself. He watched the car zip by on either other side. Watch a group of boys hop curbs on bikes. A man climbed it aboard with, with a spotted dog. CJ gave, gave him a seat. How come the man can see? Boy, what, what do you know about seeing? Nana told him. Some people watch the world of their ears. That's a fact. Their noses too, the man said, sniffing at the air. That's a mighty fine perfume you're wearing today. Mom, um, mom, mom. Nana squeezed the man's hand and laughed in deep laugh. Two older boys go got on next. C J S. C J did didn't have to. The guitar player was already plucking strings and began to sing to feel the magic of music. The blind man whispered. I like to close my eyes. Nana closed her too. And his darkness was rhymed, lift CJ out of the bus, out of the busy city. He saw sunset colors swirling over crashing waves. Saw a family of hot. Hawks slicing through the sky. The song ended, and CJ opened her his eyes. Everyone on the bus clapped, it, even on the boys in back. Nana glanced it at coins in CJ's palm. CJ dropped in the man's hat. Let's stop. In Market Street, Mr. Danny said, "Called." She smiled po and pointed in the city. Sometimes, when you are surrounded by dirt, CJ, you're a bitter wi witness for what's beautiful. How come? It's always so dirty over here. He looked at all around them again, at the bus rounding in the corner out the sight, and the broken street lamp still lit up bright, and the stray cat sh sh shadows moving across the wall. When he spotted their familiar faces in the window, he said, "I'm glad we came." He thought his nana might laugh, the deep laugh, but she didn't. To pat him on the, her head, of and told him, "Me too, CJ. Now come on." So okay, we finished it all of last stop on Market Street. We set a bus, but it's cut. But we can see like this. It's straight line like this.
We saw pea balls and a crocodile. It's it? No. I can't believe that a crocodile is in here. A train. Last stop on Market Street. De La Priya Met. Christian Robinson. Word by my D. Dila Pena Matt. Pictures by Christine Robinson. So we read all of what, all about last stop on Market Street. So bye bye.